A military exercise in the Western Pacific this month, U.S. warships sailing alongside allied ships, highlights the growing concern over China's military buildup. The Secretary of the Navy now says that China is the most significant long-term challenge for the U.S. military, bar none. The response includes a new effort to support aircraft carriers, of course, a symbol of U.S. military power for nearly a century now. David Martin shows us how the Navy is testing crewless aircraft that could give its planes a much needed and much longer range. An F-18 fighter comes up behind an airplane known as the MQ-25 and makes aviation history, the first ever aerial refueling from an unmanned aircraft. A game of inches played at 250 miles per hour. This is the first time looking over at where a cockpit and a person should be and just seeing nothing but more airplane. Lieutenant William Peabody was flying that F-18. Did it make you uneasy? A little at first, because when you're flying another manned aircraft, you know, there's an inherent level of trust you have with that air crew. But we don't have that so far with MQ-25. Until now, the Navy has used other F-18s fitted with fuel tanks under their wings as flying gas stations for their carrier aircraft. It's a waste of a high-performance jet designed for combat, which is one reason Rear Admiral Brian Corey is leading a crash program to switch to unmanned fueling with the MQ-25. And what's it carrying inside there? Almost all gas. It doesn't burn much itself, and it can give most of that gas away to our fighters. So this is where the fuel comes out? This is the business end. The MQ-25 carries enough gas to double the range of today's carrier aircraft, including the Navy's newest F-35. That matters because countries like China are building land-based missiles capable of striking aircraft carriers, forcing them to stay further and further out to sea. The whole point of this airplane is to extend the range of the carrier striking power. Refueling from an MQ-25 is the easy part. The hard part is putting it on a carrier flight deck. When the wings are spread, it's about 80 feet, and that's just about the maximum you can get on an aircraft carrier. An unmanned aircraft in the midst of the high octane ballet that takes place on a flight deck every time planes take off and land. Each plane has to be in the right place at the right time. Being off by even a little could send one over the side. Every airplane relies for its final safety check for someone looking out the window and making sure you don't run into an airplane. We don't have that. The MQ-25 is practicing carrier operations at this landlocked airfield in Illinois, where the plane's maker, Boeing, has painted the outline of a carrier deck. It's being controlled by the man in the green shirt using that console on his forearm. He's following signals from the man in the yellow vest who is directing the MQ-25 as it moves about the field. The flight deck of a carrier is one of the most dangerous work environments in the world. Lieutenant Commander uh, Eric Smith is working with his simulator launching an MQ-25 from a virtual deck. Keenan Aiken is at the controls, taking his cues from a virtual man in yellow. If you can play a game console, you'll be able to operate this deck control device. He's telling it which way to turn based off the hand signals given by the yellow shirt. Right now, he's doing the wing spread symbol, so you're going to see the wing spread here shortly. Once the MQ-25 takes off, it flies a pre-programmed route to its refueling station, where it would top off the tanks of the carrier's combat aircraft. Starting in 2025, the Navy plans to put five MQ-25s, costing about $100 million apiece, on every aircraft carrier. This drone is really about a lot more than just aerial refueling. It is about finding a new way to operate from an aircraft carrier and finding a way for aircraft carriers to be able to survive. To remain relevant is what I would say, and yes, survive. If the MQ-25 works, it's only a matter of time before the Navy puts more unmanned aircraft on its carriers to carry out strikes against heavily defended targets where a manned aircraft would not survive. Nate? David, thank you so much. It's hard to conceptualize technology in the Navy meeting, but what we do know, it will help protect this country.